what has been your favorite call for the Hoosiers for football? Well, for this football team, um, there, there have been a lot. Uh, there have been several that have been really special to me. Um, probably the last one that was as special as any uh, was the Austin Star field goal. This will be a 49-yard field goal. Dustin Haas will hold. Tim Buck will snap it. And Austin Starr has kicked it that far once before. Here's the snap back. Here's the kick. He's got the leg into it. If it is good, and it is! Austin Starr, a 49-yard field goal. And Indiana leads 27 to 24. Um. <laughs> And when I start talking about this, I start getting emotional because it was Terry Hepner um, who that team played for. Um, that, that field goal that Austin Starr kicked in that ball game was probably as emotional as I've ever gotten. Um, probably the happiest moment of calling a football game in Indiana was in 1987 when Indiana beat Ohio State in Columbus, um, beat the snot out of them that day. And we had not beaten them since 1953 or 54 at that time. So for Indiana to beat them in, in that season, and Bill Mallory was carried off the field by his football team in Columbus, that was just a special moment. So those are kind of the two that kind of stick out to me. We also beat Michigan the same year that we beat Ohio State in 1987 for the first time in school history. Beat them both that year. And um, uh, that team, was special from that perspective, but the strangest thing happened in that football game. It was a rainy, very rainy day, ra very rainy evening. The game was played under the lights. The last part of the game was played under the lights that night. And it was pouring down rain and the wind was howling. And the wind had been at our back in the third quarter. And in the fourth quarter, as soon as we went to the fourth quarter of that ball game, Indiana switched ends of the field with Michigan and the wind changed immediately and the wind started blowing at our back going the other way if you could believe that and that's what happened if you could ask anybody it was there it was the strangest thing you've ever seen and the wind changed we had the wind at our back and we beat them that night uh, we, we think it was a miracle <laughs> whatever you want to call it um, uh, and the other thing that happened in that game that was really strange is that Bo Schembechler, who was coaching Michigan at the time, called timeout three different times in that game. You know why? Because the crowd was too loud at Indiana. Think about that in football at the school. That tells you how loud that crowd was that night. And it wasn't a full house because it was pouring down rain. It was not great conditions. But Bo Schembechler was upset with our crowd for being too loud and mentioned the same in his post-game press conference in the newspapers the next day. And we all sat there and went, ooh. <laughs> we really felt bad for Bo. <laughs> no, those, those are some of the highlights from a football standpoint.